When I was about eight years old, uh, I would go to my cousin's house just about every week to listen to records. Uh, he was a few years older than I, and I remember the first day he put the Who, Who's Next on, and that was it. I heard Baba O'Reilly, and from there, I absolutely fell, fell in love with the guitar. A year after that, my father took me to see Kiss at Madison Square Garden when I was nine, and that was it. I, I loved the drummer, but I wanted to play the guitar. I loved the look, the sound, everything about it. I just wanted that raw power. Once I got into my mid-teen years, I really started getting into punk rock. And it, of course, had that rebellion that was in me and that angst that was in me. And it was just such a connection to be able to go to these shows. Like my first punk rock show was at the Ritz. It was my first taste of uh, stage diving and slam dancing and I had a phenomenal time. Um, the next day I felt like I got the crap beat out of me. It wasn't a violent thing. It was more of getting that angst out. Nobody was there to hurt one another. Uh, we were there to have a good time. So I think that, you know, slam dancing was, was more an action of fun than violence. You know, what I learned from it was that People can get together and kind of have this no holds barred fun. It looks dangerous, but it really wasn't. And I think over the last few decades, it has definitely changed. And to me, it looks like people are out for blood. And it wasn't like that back then. If, for example, one time I slipped or whatever on the floor and I was about to hit the floor and somebody scooped me up shoved me right back into the circle and it was like it just all continued people were watching out for one another you know you look back because you want to remember the good things but you lean forward because there's more to be done yes 